Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey, one, good vibrations. That's your service. I'm going to describe an antenna that I just dreamed up a few minutes ago called the inverted U. And it is called the inverted U for obvious reasons. It's its shape is an upside-down U. Basically what it comprises is the station, the radio, and the transmatch, and a long wire or, or a length of wire measuring at least a wavelength long from end to end. So uh, at 80 meters that would be what something on the order of uh, oh, 270 feet thereabouts right? You do, you do the math, okay? Uh, assuming a velocity factor of 95 percent for the wire. One-third of the antenna goes up, one-third goes across, and one-third of it goes down. So 270 feet, you're talking a 90-foot antenna support here. These are the two supports. They can be towers, but preferably to avoid unwanted resonances, they should be creosoted, uh, what they call telephone poles or utility poles. Your neighbors are just going to love you, especially if you go on 80 meters or 40 meters or something uh, with an antenna like this. The length has to be at least one wavelength. That means it can be longer. At 40 meters, that would be 135 feet or thereabouts. Suppose you made one 180 feet long for and you intended to operate it on all bands 40 meters and above. Uh, this would still be a pretty tall... How long did I say that thing was, anyways? 180 feet? So, 60-foot creosoted utility pole here. 60 feet away from that, a creosoted utility pole over here. Then you're 60 feet, 60 feet, 60 feet, 180 feet, and you ground the antenna at the far end directly with a ground rod and perhaps a few radials to enhance the ground conductivity. Pour a little salt in the ground to enhance the conductivity and kill the grass and all other foliage in the vicinity of your antenna. And uh, voila! Why would you want to ground the far end? Well, it places a current loop at the far end rather than a current node. And that's the only real difference uh, electrically. It'll work just the same as it would if it were left free, but for one important difference. It's grounded for direct current and therefore has its own built-in elect um, static electric discharge system. If there's a, a f sudden surge of current caused by a nearby lightning strike, that current will follow the path of least resistance and you want to make that path far away from your station. You don't want to have that path be at your station. Of course, uh, you, sh you should also always disconnect any antenna that you use uh, for ham radio when you are not actually on the air with it. But 180 feet, let's just suppose it's 180 feet long, that'll make it good for 40 meters, 30 meters. Uh, what are the other bands here? I know the megahertz, but not the meters. We have uh, 14 megahertz, uh, 18 megahertz, is it? I'm having trouble remembering them all, but my transceiver knows what they are, and it'll keep me from operating outside of them because it has a microcomputer that's a good deal smarter than yours truly. Unless, of course, a surge current fries it and then it'll only be a little bit smarter than yours truly. Who is again uh, assigned the call letters W1GV. I've never tried an antenna like this, but I have tried antennas that were very similar. Of course it's going to work. It's not going to work in any really particularly spectacularly well. I'm not claim making any claims for it. I just thought I'm, uh, I'm talking to you with a U. Well, I'm not talking to you. On CW, I'm uh, communicating with you, I would say, in my native fist. I am communicating with you uh, with an inverted U antenna. 
and that's obviously going to arouse the curiosity of the person on the far end if they have any curiosity left after all of the crap that's happened in this nation and others and um, it'll take it from there this is an inverted U invention of on a boring day in December awaiting the Christmas blizzard that we are promised here in the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Amateur Radio, W1GV saying 73 which means best regards in ham radio jargon and so long which in my native fist shall forevermore translate to da 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 da